okay so let's have a look at the ang chair camping chair so you can see that it comes nice and compact in this little box so we're gonna go ahead and get our unboxing knife and dig right off into this as always please be careful whenever you are using sharp objects don't want anyone to have any accident so cut right off into this box and let's see what we have in the inside uh, knife to the side Alrighty, now we're ready to open it up inside the box it will have only your basics a plastic bag and a carrying bag all right guys so let's go ahead and get this out of this plastic protector and one of the things i noticed right off the back are the handles so you have multiple i multiple ways to carry the chair so you can see the little grips right there all along the back so you can grip it anywhere when you are transporting this particular traveling bag for your chair and they have a nice zipper I love these long zippers guys but they can be a hindrance if they begin to get snagged along the way but I love long zippers inside you will find the poles wrapped up in the chair so basically it's a two-piece connection you know how pop-up tanks go you have your um, poles your connecting poles and then you have your um, canvas or your tarp for your tent this is the same theory with this camping chair right here so right off the back I can tell you that these poles feel very good in the hand feel very solid and they have some padding for the head now it's not a whole lot of padding but it would do yeah it's not a lot of padding but it, it would suffice and all along the edges four corners you're going to have your slots for your pole so you want to make sure that you are familiar with that so the first thing that i i do is i take the poles and i just go ahead and i set them up so i can just slide the chair onto it now the way you would know the direction of the poles is very very simple people the little plastic black things those are the footing so you know that would go down and the poles they snap right in place you won't have any problem with them they basically snap in place by themselves so you just want to make sure that they are secure and you want to make sure that the angle of the long poles are correct you want to make sure that the dip or that the dip is angling towards the inside and not the outside and this is how it looks once you have the poles all together. You see how I'm turning it to make sure that the little dip is angled toward the out, the little elbow. And then you just simply slip the chair over the pole. So let me show you that. Alright, so I'm going to go to corner one, slip it over, corner two, and just repeat the process. Now, please beware, you're going to need a little elbow grease by the time you get to the last pole because you really use tension strength to secure your chair. You see right there, I'm kind of struggling, but once you just slide it over, um, and, and again, you're breaking it in, so once you get broken in, the next time you do it, it would be a little easier. So there you have it, in less than three minutes, you can have this chair up and popping. I must tell you that it looks good, but looks can be deceiving. The main purpose of this chair is to see if it can hold you. Now, I'm about 5'11 and I weigh 260. Wow, it's holding all of this weight and you can see the poles in the back taking all of the tension. Now, again, you can be out in front of a campfire, you know, just sitting back and relaxing. Or in this case right here, sitting down in front of your TV. If you want to get closer to the TV or you want to do some gaming and your furniture is not arranged that way, just pop this chair up. I tell you what, you can sit in it for hours without any issues the only thing i wish you would have had was some type of armrest thank you for watching